Hey everybody, today I want to talk to you about the word psychopath. What does it mean? People throw it around a lot, right? So stay tuned. So the term psychopath or sociopath, what does it really mean? We throw that term around a lot, right? In media, especially if they catch a serial killer or they catch someone doing something that's really horrific and deceitful and, and they're like, that person's a psychopath, they're crazy. But when it comes to a clinician's standpoint or a professional standpoint, I can't actually give someone the diagnosis of psychopath or sociopath or just darn crazy because that's not how it works, right? But if I was to give someone a diagnosis, if I thought that they were being really horrifically deceitful, manipulative, harming other people, I would give them the diagnosis of antisocial personality disorder. So what is antisocial personality disorder? Just like any other personality disorder, it's something that I can't diagnose until someone's 18. That's because they believe personality disorders are something that is pervasive. It, it invades all sorts of parts of our lives and it's something that we really have to work on in order to manage it or overcome it. But I can, if they're not 18, I can diagnose them with conduct disorder. Because when it comes to diagnosing antisocial personality disorder, someone has to have already had conduct disorder or met the criteria for it. And they have to have that onset before age 15. So conduct disorder, the way that I remembered it when I was studying for my exams was the C in conduct disorder stands for committing crimes. When we're teenagers, we can be really obnoxious and rude and we can you know, just annoy those around us, but we don't commit crimes. Someone with conduct disorder is really deceitful. They lie a lot. A lot of kind of societal norms and beliefs and laws that are in place, they don't believe in them and they don't abide by them. They have their own set of rules and they may even put someone else in danger for their own personal gain. So that's something that has to have already been happening. It may even hurt animals. We've heard people who are later, um, you know, they, they shoot up a movie theater or they m are a serial killer. And we find out later that when, when they were young, they used to kill rabbits or bunnies or their family dog or cat. Um, that's something that is very common prior to being able to diagnose this. Okay, so my client is 18 years old. They've already been diagnosed with conduct disorder. How do I know for sure they have antisocial personality disorder? Now, I want to read you the description that they give in the DSM because I think it does the best, it's the best description available for this. And it goes like this. It says that antisocial personality disorder is a pervasive pattern of disregard for and violation of the rights of others that begins in childhood and continues on into adulthood. This pattern has been referred to as psychopathy and sociopathy. So that's the thing I love about the DSM is it gives us some information to kind of work around. Like it's also been called this, people have done this, people might say this is a milder form of something, but it's really not. Um, but the most important thing to remember about people who have this diagnosis is that manipulation and lying is the core of their issue. So if I was working with a patient who I assumed had this, it would be, critically important for me to get information from a lot of different collateral resources. So I want to talk to their teachers, their parents, their um, friends, if they have any. Oftentimes they don't have any people they'd call friends. They have other people that would think of themselves as their friend, but relationships with others isn't something that they place a lot of value on. They see relationships with others as a way for them to maybe gain more. Like I was saying before with conduct disorder, the same happens in antisocial personality disorder where they will put someone else in danger as a way to save themselves or to parlay themselves into something else. It's almost like in business when they say they'd walk over you to get to the top. This person would definitely do that. They don't place any worth on anyone else except for themselves. So it can be something, obviously, that can be very devastating. People that have this tend to be the serial killer type, but only 1% of the population actually has antisocial personality disorder. That's not a very big percentage. And of that percentage, I would venture to say that the ones that actually commit murders and are serial killers is even lower. I mean, if you think back to the people that you've even heard in your lifetime, it's probably only a handful of people. So just because someone has this diagnosis doesn't make them dangerous but it does mean that they're predisposed 
to not value anyone but themselves. So it's something that we definitely need to recognize, especially as a clinician. The sooner I can recognize that someone's struggling with this, the better outcome there can be and the safety of others. Because as I've talked about before, just having the insight into the way that our mind works and the way that things are going in our lives is the first step and the most important step to managing it better. Just like any other personality disorder, we can manage our symptoms. The more we know about it, the better we can manage, right? Now I hope that that clears it up because just like a lot of the other things I talk about, people throw terms around without actually knowing what they mean. So next time somebody says to you, that person's a psychopath, you can say, aha, that doesn't actually exist. They really have antisocial personality disorder. We learned something new today, right? And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe because I put out videos five days a week and you don't wanna miss it. I'll see you next time. I wanna protect myself because you've, you've wounded me, right? So underneath that is, underneath the anger is hurt. And once we kind of figure out, I know this is getting really difficult, but once we figure out